hi guys welcome back to my channel this week i'm actually doing a market so i thought it would be fun to kind of do a video that's just based around going to a market so the prep the organizing and then the market day itself with the process of going there and setting up and all that stuff so today is friday i have a market tomorrow at manly on saturday with ceramics it's not kind of like other diy craft kind of small businesses where i can spend the night just like making a bunch of stuff and taking it to the market tomorrow i actually with ceramics have to have everything done well in advance so I'm not going to be doing anything like that tonight. I am at the studio right now and I've just glazed some pieces so I'm going to get those and take them to the firing studio and while I'm there I'm going to just check to see if I don't have anything to pick up because I think I might have some pieces and if I do then I can bring them to the market with me tomorrow. Also I'm heading to my other studio where I store all of my market stuff during the week when I'm not going to markets so I need to head there and pack up my car ready for tomorrow because the market starts early so I don't have time to go anywhere tomorrow morning and pick anything up or drop anything off so I need to be really ready tonight to then be able to just head straight to the market tomorrow so let's head off today is a 36 degree day so it's not my prime day to be doing all of this heavy lifting for packing the car up but that's okay it's what we got to do at least it's not 36 degrees tomorrow for the market which you would think would be nice but it's just honestly too hot to be outside so I think that if it was this way, market day, it's very hit or miss depending on how many people will actually go to the market. Anyway, so I'm heading to this studio now to drop off some bisque pieces and hopefully pick up some fire pieces. I actually already have a majority of my market stuff in the back. I have like my back boot that is full and I only took out the stuff that was on the back seat just because I needed to be able to fit people in the other day. I may still be sweating afterwards. But it won't take as long, which is good. And the gazebo is already in the car, which is the biggest and heaviest thing. So we're all good. So I just picked up some pieces from the firing studio. And they luckily literally took them out of the kiln as I was there. So that's very lucky. I've been testing out a new style for a new collection. So these are the pieces. There's this little dish, dish here. And then I've got a mug to go with it, like this. Super cute. I don't know about the color, but I just wanted to like see what it looked like. And I had this color there, so I'm like not too faced. And then this one, which is not, doesn't have a handle. It's kind of like a little tumbler like that. It's also testing out like a takeaway cup kind of thing. So I made, this is like, a, my dad sent me one of these and he was like, I really want you to make one. This is it here. It's got the little like lid so you can sip out of it. And I've put like a little like print so that you can put your thumb there so that while you're drinking, you can just, I've got these little mugs here, which are so cute. They've got like a little carving in them. Um, and I've got that, this glaze too, but it is like dripped a little. Um, and I've used this glaze before and it didn't drip, but I think it's because it collected in the little grooves and so that it's like dripped. But I, I like love the little drips. They're like so cute. So that's these two. gonna do some makeup and then get dressed and then I should be ready to go I'm just having a, a quick breakfast because I don't want to have to worry about getting food or whatever when I'm there I will grab a coffee so I'm just having tea but yeah I'm gonna get ready I have a small concern for the market today it's I think it's meant to start raining maybe around like 9 10 so it shouldn't be that much I'm not too worried about that I'm more worried about the wind because when it gets really windy my weights are not heavy enough to actually hold it down i need to get more i only have two so i put one on each corner and i need to have four and so last time it was really windy i literally had to pack down my gazebo because it was like flying away and things were like flying away so i'm just concerned that it's going to be a bit windy today because it looks like it <laughs>
so I'm all set up and I'm now just getting all cozy. I'm just gonna be reading my book. I've got my, I actually made this prototype. I don't know whether you've seen it in previous videos, but it's like a little takeaway cup and I got a coffee in it and it's actually so cute. It was the first time I used it. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, and I definitely think that I might make a collection out of these, like literally just a collection of like takeaway cups. currently 10 30 so the market's been going for about an hour and a half and i've made some money which is good because sometimes i like don't make money until the afternoon sometimes i'm steady all day so this is a good start to the morning it is definitely overcast and there's been sprinkles of rain but the wind is not too bad so i think that's the main thing um and i don't think it's really meant to rain much for the rest of the day So it's about 5.30 and I'm back home. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of me packing down just because my partner was picking me up and he has a online tournament that he had to get back to. So we were in a huge rush. So I was just really quickly packing things up and we're just like running back and forth to the car, packing the car up with all the stuff. So we're back now. I'm only here for probably another half an hour because I have a class tonight. And so I have to be at the studio by six for my class at 6.30. In the end, I ended up making $845, so that is one of my good markets. My average for what I like to make is around $600 to $700, that's like my average. I want to make that in order to have a good market. I found that I've almost sold out of my espresso cups and my spoon rests, and I had quite a lot of people buying the mugs today, especially the mugs that I picked up yesterday from the studio, so that's good. Um, What else? Oh, and my cloud dishes. So those three items that I have are just like my best sellers and I am definitely in need of making more. I already have made heaps of espresso cups because I knew that those were gonna sell out really soon. So those are already being made, but I definitely need to make more spoon holders and I need to make some more cloud dishes. I don't love making cloud dishes, but they're so worth it because I sell so many. <laughs> As I wasn't able to get as much footage as I would like, I thought that maybe I would also bring you guys along for my class tonight. So right now it's 5.30, like I said, I am going to quickly have some dinner. I've already got some tacos made, so I'm just going to warm them up and then eat those. And then I'm going to head to the studio. I've got, I've got some twinkly lights that I want to put up because it is a two person class. So it's actually a, like a date night class. I need to get to the studio to just basically weigh out some balls of clay. Tonight should be pretty easy because it is actually class with my cousin and her partner. So I'm not too nervous about it. I usually get a little bit nervous if I don't really know the person. Um, but this, I feel pretty excited. It's still a little bit nerve wracking because it's like, I want them to have a good time, you know, but it is also really fun teaching. So yeah. Okay, so I just arrived at the studio. I am now just going to get everything ready. I'm going to hang up the aprons. I'm going to string the lights and then I'm going to get the balls of clay measured and then wedged. As I was trying to make it more moody by turning off the lights, but it gets too dark, so we're just gonna leave them on. Okay, so I've got the balls ready, I've got water ready, I've wiped it down a bit. I think we're all good to go.
Okay, so that is the end of my very long weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and coming along for the process of organizing, getting ready, prepping, and also going to the market. And I hope you enjoyed the little bonus of coming to the class with me. It was so much fun. Although this weekend was really exhausting and I'm very tired. It was so much fun and I just love it so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved doing it and bringing you guys along. Um, if you did like this video please give it a like because that really supports my channel and supports me and makes me feel loved and also if you could subscribe because then you guys get to see more videos like this and we get to have fun together um and i will see you guys in the next video